corner, mister. What do you want? I think the loan if you have a stroke all the head, senor. What's it to you? Oh, I only wish to tell you this better danger where you dig in. Why? For the bandits, they're all around here. They blow up many wells. Oh, I see. Perhaps the mister wants to prevent the bandits from blowing out this well. That'll be pretty hard to do. We have no guns. <laughs> you don't need a gun. We also have no money. Not even some money. Some little kind of money. Can you go out and get some? You got no friends. ¿Qué dice el jefe? Yo no tiene dinero. ¿Cómo no van a tener, jefe? Tienen que tener. Who told you you should dig here? I bought a lease. <laughs> then you must have money, and I want it. Every cent we got stuck in this well. We'll find out. Spurgelos. Next time you drill around here, be sure to have money. I don't get it. Well, they didn't shoot us anyway. Dynamite. They have to do it to us. We save and scrape every nickel and dime to sink this well. Now look at it. Ain't nothing left. Just, just nothing. There's still oil here, Dutch. We're going to dig it out. Yeah, how? What with? Where are we going to get drill pipe, tools, a new rig? Where? Where? We'll get us a job. Save up a new stake and try it again. I'm sick and tired of trying. If it ain't storms, floods, or tornadoes, it's salt water or bandits. I'm tired. Just plain tired. It's a long walk back to town. Let's get started. I ain't going. Once we lived in a shack Drilled for oil, precious black gold ¿Qué les pasa, amigos? Perdidos. ¿Van al pueblo? Sí. Súbanse, los llevamos. Nothing seems to have changed much. Boy, Jeff, I'm really startled. Well, you'll get used to it. Well, I might, but my ulcer won't. Remember that doctor in Arabia that told me I should always keep something on my stomach? That was five years ago. Yeah, and I feel like I ain't that since.
Got an opening for a good driller and his Derek man? Can't you read? Uh, we'll take anything, roustabout, roughneck, ditch digger, anything. That sign means what it says. Production's been cut. Too much trouble from bandits. Come on, Dutch. Where were they when we needed them? You heard the man. We're not the only oil company out of business. Let's go back to the States, Dutch. It'd be easy to raise a bankroll there. Great. How do we get there? I'll see what I can do. Beg your pardon, but you're British, aren't you? Oh. Oh, brother, am I glad. Come here, I want to talk to you. I've got a problem. Yeah? Where are you going? New Orleans. Oh, what a break. For you or me? For both of us, if you'll be a sport. I'm listening. They let wives travel half there. Yeah. You tell them I'm your wife and buy my ticket for them. Okay. Thanks, your pal. Well, what are you waiting for? The money. Oh, well, well you see, that's my problem. Well, nice to make the acquaintance with you. Well, look, I'll pay you back just as soon as we get there. That's a promise. You've got to help me. I'm in a spot. Well, all right, just to try to act like a wife. But uh, keep quiet, huh? Tomorrow at 10 o'clock. Uh, what's the fare to New Orleans? $150 American. Sounds fair enough. I have a lease here on some oil land I've been working. I'll leave it as security on two tickets and a half fare. This oil leases. The mine's legitimate. These are all legitimate and worthless. Sorry. You know, my wife here is sick. You wouldn't leave a woman stranded in a dangerous place like this, would you? I said sorry. I sure can pick them. Well, stick around. You might run into an Englishman. You got the price of a square meal for a fellow American? Hey, mister. You got the price of a square meal for a fellow American, ain't you? Give it back. Oh, Jeff. Jeff, now. Hey, wait a minute. You guys looking for work? Why didn't I think of that? What you offering? You know how to handle explosives? Sure, what kind? Nitro. Let's go, come on, let's go. What's the pay? 200 bucks for the trip. $200 for carrying soup? Not interested. 200 bucks a man. Hey, Jeff, are you crazy? We don't want to haul no soup. How far is the run? Three or four hours, no more. What kind of road? Smooth as glass. Yeah, I know. Well, there is a road, huh? Um, refrigerated truck? 
Look, this guy I'm contracting for is a small operator. His bank balance never heard of refrigerators. All right. $500 a man. Oh, come on now. That's too much. OK, drive it out yourself. Wait a minute, wait a minute. 400 bucks a man. It's a deal. Oh, Jeff, now look, look. You know that stuff blows at 160 degrees. The truck ain't refrigerated. We don't know the road. We're going to get... When are we leaving? 5 o'clock tomorrow morning. That'll leave before the sun gets hot. Meet me here. Uh, what about a little advance? Hmm? Yeah, a little eating money, huh? Sure, I'll give you an advance. Then I never see you again. What do you take me for? You guys don't lose your nerve. I'll see you tomorrow morning at 5 o'clock. Oh, boy. Listen to those ulcers growl. Sounds like I got a great Dane in there. Wish one had come by, I could eat it. Why don't you shut up and go to sleep? I can't sleep on an empty stomach. I'm gonna walk around. Feels a little better when I'm moving. Well, I don't get into trouble. Still, mister. All I want from you is the price of a good square meal. All right, all right, let go. I told you I was hungry. Hey, if you guys needed money, why didn't you come to me? Yeah. Brother, are you loaded? <laughs> uh, Dutch, you got an instinct for that stuff. Yeah, I wouldn't be too sure. Lucky thing for you guys, I didn't have to use this. <laughs> hey, gee, I didn't know you were in these parts, Jeff. Well, we just uh, got in. Hey, where are you guys staying? Well, we, 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 uh... Come on over to the hotel, I'll get your room. Oh, no, no, thanks. Look, uh, we... you're not gonna make me use this, are you? Come on, come on, come on! 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 Come Come on upstairs to my suite, huh? We'll, we'll get a drink and you can say hello to Marina. Your wife here with you? Well, just for the day. She, she gets kind of restless when I leave her alone at the field. She sure will be surprised to see you. It's getting late. Maybe, maybe she's asleep. Nah, nah, she can't go to sleep till I kiss her goodnight. Come on. Marina! Where are you, honey? This is taking a bath. I never saw a woman like sitting in the tub as much as Marina. Marina! Oh! Hiya, sweetheart. Brawling again? Ah, just a friendly scrap. <laughs> Hand me my negligence. Oh, yeah. Hey, this is new, huh? Must have cost plenty. I'm not complaining, Angel. You're entitled. Oh, you smell like a gutter. Well, that's just where I've been. Hey, guess who I brought up here? Jeff Dawson. Well, I sure miss that guy. It was great to see him again. Come on out and say hello, huh? 
You'll be out in a second. How'd it change? Is that Jeff? You know, I used to think any guy who got married was a sucker. And I still think so. But there's only one Marina and I got her. You know, it wasn't easy. I never can find anything around here. Hey, get a load of it. Is that stuff or is that stuff, huh? Nice to see you again, Jeff. It's been a long time. Hello, Marina. Where's all the tequila I ordered from Mexico? <laughs> what would I do without you? Come on, Jeff, pull up a chair. We'll kill the bottle and have some laughs, huh? Yeah, stick around and laugh, Jeff. Hey, you really dropped out of sight when you left it. Where'd you go? All over. Guatemala, Venezuela. I heard you had something good in Venezuela. What happened? It exploded. Everything went sky high, including the equipment and four creditors. I was out of the country before half the stuff came down. <laughs> that finished you off? No, I spotted in a new rig right near here. I was right on top of the prettiest anticline you ever saw. And a climb, but no showing, is that it? Plenty. But Bandito showed up before the pay sand. Very neat, as I remember. Yeah, you'll never get smart, always wildcatting, looking for something new. Why don't you quit and settle down? You know me, I get a kick out of finding oil, not sitting around watching it pump. You used to be that way, too, remember? Texas, we sold out in six months. Yeah. That was before Marina. She keeps it plenty interesting here. Right, baby? You were a sucker to walk out when you did. This was a big one, and you went half. Now I've got three sections pumping day and night, money rolling in. Hey, Jeff, I'm opening up a new section. Why don't you throw in with me? If we bring it in, you can have a piece. Sorry, Paco, I can't. Why not? Yes, why not? Same reason as before. Come to think of it, why'd you run out on me? Did I do something in it? What'd I do? Nothing. I just felt it was time to move on, and I had another lease I thought looked pretty good. No, there must have been some other reason. What's the difference? He's back now. Yeah, just when I need him the most. You know, I'm plenty worried about those bandidos, too. Look, Jeff, I I if you... Forget it. I'd better go and find Dutch. We've got a job to do tomorrow. Oh, don't go, Jeff. Just when I find you again. He really needs you. Good night, Marina. Good night. Oh, oh Jeff, uh, on that well, the bandits blew up. You, uh, you still got the lease? Yeah, why? Right. Uh, just asking. Now, look, don't disappear again. Huh? Let, let, let's keep in touch. Ah, he's a great guy. <laughs> you know, funny how all the dames used to go for him. What's funny about it? Well, I mean, the dames I mean, well, <laughs> they were nothing like you. And... You smell like an animal. And you act like one. And you love it. Like I always say, it's always darkest just before the dawn. You gotta have faith, little girl. <laughs> an hour ago, we was both starving to death. I bump into an old pal, and you bump into me. Go on, eat something, honey. Hey! Okay, Dutch, you've been pampering that ulcer long enough. Well, Jeff, it's my first trip. Go to bed. I need you sober tomorrow. All right. Can I finish my dinner, or do I have to go to bed, too? Hey, Jeff, I want you to meet a nice little girl. I just bought her dinner. She's from my hometown. Mm-hmm. We've met. For a few seconds once, we were even married. Ma huh? I don't get it. Maybe I better finish my drink. Hey, one more of those, and when that hot sun hits you tomorrow, you'll explode before the nitro. Nitro? Hey, what about Paco? Ain't he gonna give us a job? Don't ask questions. Okay, okay. Hey, honey, when you get back to Tulsa, be sure and look up my Aunt Martha, will you? Tell her what a big oil man made. Huh? Hey, mister. If you ever get to Tulsa, you can look up my mother and father. And if you think I'm lying, I'll give you their name and address. Well, I hope you get there before I do. If you don't mind, I'll finish my dinner. Easy now. Easy, boys, easy. Just easy, that's it, that's it. Now, make sure all them lines are good and tight, will you? Hey, you wouldn't like to buy a full of nice cold bottle of beer, would you? 
No, I guess you wouldn't. Now, how's it look? Okay. Well, it's got some springs, anyhow. You sure all those containers are filled right to the brim? I don't want that stuff slopping around back there. Right to the brim. Better double check everything, Dutch. I don't like to get near that stuff, but I'll do it. Here's your permit to transport explosives. That'll get you by the police. Well, it'll get us by the bandits. For them, you got this. You know what one bullet in that box of nitro will do to your truck, don't you? It ain't mine. I just rented. it. Well, you're renting me, too. When do I get paid? After you make the run. Look, you can understand. Supposing something happens and you get blown up, the money on you. You lost everybody, you, me. Besides, you got no place to spend it till you get back anyway. I'll be here. Well, we're all set, I'm sorry to say. I'll be seeing you. Sure. Better get in, Dutch. I'll drive. OK. Now, Jeff, start out real, real easy, will you? Take your fingers out of your ears. If it goes, you'll never hear it. Huh? I... Jeff, will you? Oh, boy, it's sure hot. Jeff, that stuff's ready to boil over. Well, it'll all be over in an hour, one way or the other. Don't say that. It's my duty to tell you there are bandits around here. Well, that settles it. We turn around and go back to town, huh? Come on. You mean you're stopping us from going any further? Oh, no. But I must advise you against it. Well, thanks for the warning. Figure. We ought to be about on top of it. Well, I don't see no rig. Don't worry about the rig. Just watch the road for thumps.
You drive. Honey, this joint's getting dull. I know a little place down the street where they have a band. We can have a lot of fun. Hello. Hi. Well, where did you come from? I heard you got shot. I'm sorry to disappoint you, Tammy. Oh, yes. Uh, $800, wasn't it? Yep. Well, I don't have that much on me right now, but I'll go to the bank first thing in the morning and get it. Hey, Emilio. Yes, Mr. Jackson. Fix up my friend here with anything he wants. Let's put it on my bill. Certainly, Mr. Jackson. Okay. But, uh, now, where were we, huh? <laughs> well, before we go into that, just what was it he did for you? He ran a load of nitro. Why? Running nitro. That's pretty dangerous work, isn't it? It sure is. A man can get killed. Then he ought to get paid for it. He will. Say, what's the matter with you? You might ask him what he's doing with those boat tickets in his kick. What boat? Oh, I, I, I... And you might also inquire about the $2,400 in his wallet. Or was it $2,500, dear? Wait. Let's see the wallet. I don't have any $2,500. Let's see the wallet. She's lying. She's lying. I'll show you. There's nothing in that wallet. She doesn't know what she's talking about. If your boyfriend wakes up, he can pay the check. Women, that's all they give me is trouble. He's a pal of mine. He can lick anybody except me. Twenty-five hundred bucks. <laughs> I haven't got a cent on me, he says. I have to go to the bank tomorrow. There's one ticket on the boat that leaves tomorrow at nine. One ticket? That's all there is. Oh, that no good so-and-so. When he gets up again, hit him for me. Here, hold this under his nose. That'll bring him to. Thank you. You've got it. Why did you do it? I've been made a chump off so often, I hate to see it happen to anybody else. How'd you happen to get stuck in this place? Well, you wouldn't believe it to look at me. But a couple of days ago, I was on a yacht. A big one. Twelve in the crew. Just you and the crew? It was no no. Well, let's hear about him. His older sister was aboard, too. Oh, that was nice. When we docked here, he wanted to send sister home, but I couldn't bear to break up the family. So I came ashore instead. Do you expect me to swallow that yarn? You don't believe anything, do you? Here. You've got the wrong idea about me, mister. That's not going to buy you anything. I don't have to buy anything. But you need a ticket out of here. You usually get there one way or another. Try it with a ticket this time. Excuse me. I am Inspector Ramirez. I believe you took some money from this man. I collected it from him. He owed it to me. Here, these gentlemen are also creditors of Mr. Jackson. They are first and you to collect. Please, excuse the trouble. But you had to give me back $800. Look, Inspector, I almost got killed earning that 800 bucks. My partner's in the hospital right now with a bullet in his leg. I am very sorry. The money, please. Well, can't we split the difference? There is no difference to split. You are $200 short. Why? 
I spent it. Oh, I am sure it was spent well, senor. Guess you want it back now, huh? I think it was spent well, too. You know, there's something I like about you. What's your name? Jeff Dawson. What's yours? Sal Donnelly. But you won't remember. I won't have to. That ship leaves at 9 tomorrow. Night. Night. Waiter. You better pour this back in the bottle. Pégalo. Otro más. <laughs> hey. You still throw a nice left hook. You can't live on left hooks, though. Especially with Dutch in the hospital. My offer's still open. You really got no choice, Jeffy boy. Hmm? <laughs> It'll be just like old times, huh? This is my South Field. If I could only get it into shape, I'd triple my production. But when you trouble, bandits? No, I'm pretty close to town for them to bother me much. Now, my big trouble here is Henderson, the field boss. He's a stiff. Lazy? Nah, stupid. Now, this well he's been working on, I called him Marina Number 7 after the little woman. He snapped off three sections of drill pipe. I had to pull back and bypass. Huh. That's him. Come on, pick up those couplings. What do you want to do, roll them home? Hey, Henderson. Yes, Mr. Conway? That's no way to talk to those boys that won't do anything for you. Was I hired to be polite or to be a field boss? Do you know that sometimes I wonder? This is Mr. Dawson. I want to take a look at the rig. Hey, Jeff, will you come here a second? How does it look? Hey, you had a showing about 1,200, didn't you? How do you know we had a showing at 1,200 without looking at the log? The core shows a fine formation. Hmm? No kidding. Let's see. Red shale, quartzite, mescal, limestone. Right down the line, you ought to hit a well about uh, 3,200. What do you use, a crystal ball or a willow wand? No, he, uh, he just uses his head. Well, what do you think? I don't like to step into another man's rig and start popping off. Go ahead, I think I can stand it. Well, I think you got too much weight on your bit. You're getting a crooked hole. That picture compass has always been a little off. He's not talking about the picture compass. He's talking about the feel of the rig. I've told you the same thing a dozen times. You're hitting hard I'll... rock and you're shearing off. You're not breaking any more of my bits. You're fired. You can't fire me. I've got a contract. Look, Buster, I got news for you. I, I, I just broke it. Now, will you beat it? All right, we're pulling pipe. Just a minute, Conway. Will you take your dirty paws off of me? Why, sure. <coughs> I've been waiting to do that a long time. Hey. <laughs> she likes to see me fight. When I win, I throw some water on him, pack him for town, and give him a swim. I'll be back by the time you get her pulled. She's in here. Come on, Jeff. Get the house, baby. Come on, I'll race you to the house. 500 bucks, this will beat you there. You got a bet. All right, come on, get in, Jeff.
your neck for 500 bucks. Well, how do you like it? Not bad, huh? A lot of changes around here since your day. Amy. I'm good for it. The money's better. <laughs> She's tough. Guess the only thing left you recognize is this, huh? Marina number one. This is the baby that started it all. He built a house near it so he could hear it pumping at night. The sound of oil coming out of the ground makes him sleep like a baby. <laughs> and it keeps her awake. Let me know how you sleep tonight. Your house is over there. Get some drinks, will you, baby? I better go get settled. Hey, wait a minute. Henderson ain't out yet. You don't want to have to flatten him, too, do you? A lot of changes, huh, Jeff? <laughs> Got your drink ready, baby? Uh-huh. A little early in the day for me to drink. Well, that's not very neighborly of you. Well, I just work here. Too. Come on, stop the gab and let's drink. Oh, come on. It's not like drinking with the boss. You're supposed to be friends. Friends? What are you? Me and Jeff are brothers. I guess that makes me just a big sister, huh? <laughs> Does that mean I have to drink? Well, as long as you're living so close, why be formal? You know, what's the matter with you? Marina's only trying to make your feet at home. Come on, now, relax. Enjoy yourself. Looks like Jeff has forgotten how. Turn on the charm, baby. Show Jeffy boy how nice you can be. <laughs> Shall I dance for the gentleman? <laughs> Don't she slaughter you? <laughs> Marina was always quite the comedian. Yeah. Hey, I remember once on our honeymoon, we were on the train, and the door to our compartment got jammed. We couldn't open it for 500 miles, and all the time, Marina... Shut up! You're interrupting my story. I don't want to hear it. Well, maybe Jeff does. I can imagine the rest. No, you can't. Go on, you tell the rest. I want to hear it. Oh. I'll tell him how the trip ended. He gave me these. Hey! That cost me 600 barrels of crude! <laughs> See, I told her she was tough. Never argue with a jump, you can't win. <laughs> Where are you going, honey? Huh? I like fighting with you. What's the matter? Oh. Did I do something? What'd I do? Marina! Come on, open up, honey. Marina! Now, oh, Marina! What's the matter, honey? Why'd you... Why'd you get mad, honey? Marina! Marina! Feelings? I should say not. You did me a favor. This was no job. Not for a man. You don't look like you're gonna do much work either. Why don't you say what you're saying? I'm gonna let you find that out for yourself. I still don't get you. If Mrs. Conway comes over to say goodbye to me, tell her she could have saved the war. What makes you think she'd say goodbye to you? open. Find what you're looking for. Take a good look. Get on your feet. 
<laughs> I just want to make you a bed. Is that what you do around here, make beds? Too bad you had to come back, Jeff. We might have gone on for the rest of our lives without ever seeing each other again. It's too bad, but I'm not sorry. Let me see, why did you leave here? You have a good memory, why was it? Oh, yes, yes, you, you thought you found oil someplace else. That's why you left here. <laughs> you were running away from something. Me. You thought you were falling in love with me, so you broke it off by pulling up stakes and dropping out of sight. That's not the reason, and you know it. Were you surprised to learn I'd married Paco? Why not? He's rich, and he isn't ashamed of loving me. He gives me everything I want. Look at me when I talk to you. Who do you think you are? I ought to be ashamed of loving you. You were nothing when I met you, and you're nothing now. Oh, yes, I forgot. You always had some crummy oil lease in your hip pocket. I keep asking myself, what do I see in you? Maybe it's time for me to take a good look. I was caught in her web Just like the spider catches the fly You've tried to wipe me off before. You never could. Maybe I never tried hard enough. Why do you always fight me, Jeff? You have a husband. You could have been my husband. Why aren't you? Because you're no good, Marina. You're just no good. I know. I wasn't always this way. With you, it was different. You brought out everything decent in me. Every woman wants to be decent. When you walked out, you stole my chance. Now that you're back, it's as though you had never left. Look, Marina, I didn't come back to stay. Not one day longer than I have to. I wouldn't be here now if Dutch weren't in the hospital. I made a deal with Paco. You might as well know it. As soon as I bring in the South Field, I'm pulling out. No, you're not. Not this time. We've said goodbye for the last time. I know. I have a feeling. Why don't you leave me alone? Why do you keep hounding me? You're hounding yourself. That's why. I don't want to talk about it. All right. Don't bother making the bed. I'm not staying tonight. Where are you going? To town. What's in town? I'll find out. Must be quite a view out that window. Why don't you quit stalling? Go ahead and tell me about it if you want to. Tell you about what? About her. What are you going to do about Marina? Oh, stop. I knew it the minute you came in here. Knew what? I knew you were thinking about running out. Well, brother, you don't have to hesitate on account of me. Just give me a hand with this leg and we'll hop out of now here. Now, lay down. Well, then go on without me, will you? I looked at on your face tonight. I say don't stick around. Get out while you can. You talk too much. I'm not saying half what I'm thinking. What does that mean? I thought it was all over between you and her. You know an awful lot for somebody just lying here. Hey, this is Dutch, remember? I was around long before there was any Marina, when there was just you and me and Paco. You're reminding me that Paco's my friend? I don't have to tell you that, Jeff. Good night. You got a room? Yeah, just register. I'm 
glad you came in, Mr. Dawson. A young lady just gave me your name as a reference. As what? And which young lady? That one. She said you'd vouch for her honesty. Mm-hmm. Nice of you to have come to my debut. I hear I'm responsible for it. I didn't realize you knew how to deal blackjack. I don't. Manager's only interested in how I look in an evening gown. You were supposed to be on that boat. Why weren't you? I didn't know there was a law I had to get out of town. There's no law I had to give you $200 either. Money. Save it for the next boat. I'm not ready to leave yet. Well, you've obviously got a great future here. You're telling me how to live my life? I've got an investment in you. I don't want to see it go to waste. Oh, take back your investment. Why are you avoiding me? I'm busy. You're always busy, all month, day and night. You can't wait till you finish your job and get out of here. That's right. Why do you hate me, Jeff? I... I don't hate you. Then why don't I ever see you? Answer me! The men are looking at you. I don't care who sees me. I don't care! I don't care! How you doing? Still in Cap Rock, but we'll get through. You said that three bits are gone. It's not exactly custard pudding down there. She wears out a set of teeth every second bite. All right, pick her up. Hold it. What's the trouble? You promised me a water of 3,200. Well, why don't you wait till I get there? I'm going to speed it up for you. Dito Miguel, there's a torpedo on there. Get it out. Nitro? This well doesn't have to be shot. What's the hurry? I'll bring it in for you. Look, let's do it my way this time, huh? All right. Your party. I got my reasons, Jeff. Good ones. All right, bring it in here, will you? Easy, easy, boys. Put it in there and pack it down good. Plenty of mud on top. Set it for uh, 6 a.m. tomorrow.
There's a lot of rock pressure down there. How do you know it'll stay put that long? Look, Jeff, will you let me worry about it? Don't get it. They could have blown up the well. They didn't come to blow up the well. They're just reminding me to keep an appointment. I didn't know you heard from them. Hoped it was a bluff. I didn't figure that they'd come this close to town. Now you know why I'm trying to bring the well in with nitro. I gotta find out quick whether I've got anything out here worth fighting for. I'm going to the house. You coming with me? Well, I'd better stay and take a look at the man they shot. All right. Well, that's kind of mean business. Then what do I do? Don Francisco, I told you already, it's not now possible to expect truth from the north. You must hold on. Hold on with what? Do as the other companies. Close down, give raffles to every man, and if they had that fight back. Yeah, and they'll blow me up like they did Superior. I've got a right to protection, and you've got to give it to me. I will do everything possible to protect you, Don Francisco. I think it's better that Mrs. Conway stay in town. Yeah, yeah, maybe you should, honey. I'm staying here. Oh, Jeff, what about that man? How bad was he hurt? He's dead. Maybe you should go into town, honey. I'm not running away. Hello. Saddle up a couple of fresh horses. What are you going to do? We're going to keep that appointment.
Before. You killed one of my men today. Do you, Mr. Conway? I'm Conway. You cheer up. <laughs> I need money. Plenty of money to buy guns and dynamite. But I still got plenty to blow up your wells. <laughs> All 18 wells. You have 18 wells, huh? It's not true. I know everything. I look to big glasses. How much do you want? You're a wise man. You love your oil wells very much. Why will you pay to conserve them? Tell him you'll think it over. Why don't you tell him what I do to you? How much is it worth to you if I have not bought up your well? Not a peso. I don't like that answer. Be careful and not to answer the same way. You have 18 wells. I want a thousand dollars for each well. Total, fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> I don't know how to add. Fifty thousand dollars tonight. You will bring it here in gold. Remember, I want gold. Take your guns with you. I don't want you to be rough when you bring my money. <laughs> I'm gonna say something. I'm hungry. I didn't eat all day. Come on, let's get something. Marina! Marina! Where is she? She's never around when you want her. Come on out the kitchen. Go ahead. What are you waiting for? Where's the bottle opener? You can't find nothing in this joint. I got over 100 grand stuck in this house. You can't even open a bottle of beer. Where is everybody? Where's dinner? They ran away. They're scared. What are you shaking about? You're as pale as a ghost. Now, you'll be shaking too when I tell you what that stinking bandit wants. 50,000 bucks, that's what he wants. What do you say, Jeff? What are you asking him for? You ask me, not him. I'd like to hear his opinion. Do you mind? Well, what do you say, Jeff? I know what he'll say. Don't pay a cent. Fight, fight. Get all the wells blown to pieces. Maybe get killed, too. That's what I'd say. Sure, it's easy for him. He's got nothing to lose. My whole life is wrapped up in these fields. I don't want a shot from under me. They weren't shot from under you in Nicaragua, and you know why as well as I do. But once you start paying, you can't stop. He'll let you alone today for 50,000, but for how long? That he didn't say. Pay him once, and the next time he'll want double, then triple. You can't live with a snake by feeding him honey. You gotta kill him before he kills you. Uh, I get the idea. We load up a truck with nitro, drive it smack into their hideout, set it off, blast them off the earth, kill them all. Us too. Some idea. It stinks. You're yellow. 
You want to fight him, huh? You know where the gun room is. Go on, help yourself. You go fight him. Fight him. Well, yeah, why not? That's what we need around here, a little excitement. You're becoming soft just sitting around pumping oil. And those pumps are driving me nuts. We had a real shooting. Maybe I'd get a good night's sleep. I got a bandit sitting on my back, and what am I surrounded with? A lousy hero and a, and a crazy wife. Hey, where are you going? To town. You don't need me to make up your mind. Where does he always go in town? Who cares? Dodge somebody. Who else does he see? He's got some game. Blackjack deal at the hotel. What's the deal? She's blowing wild. She's getting ready to throw the nitro. Jeff, where are you going? I'll grab the ice truck. See you there. A piece of it. You were right, Jeff. You made your well just like you said. Did you get the torpedo out? No, oh, it's too late. It's overdue. Clear the rig, everybody on the side of the sump. Hurry up. The nitro catches this gas of fire and kiss the whole formation goodbye. There's nothing we can do about it. We might catch the torpedo. Are you kidding? It'll be coming out of that pipe 100 feet a second. Come on, hurry up. Come on, Jeff. Come on, Jeff. Jeff, are you crazy? What are you doing here? If you think you can catch it, I think I can maybe help. Bueno? Bueno. You must like fooling with Nitro. Lucky thing for me, I was here. I've been pressing my luck too far with you. All right, Dutchie, all right. This guy's gonna get himself killed one of these days, and when he does, there ain't gonna be enough left of him for a decent burial. Okay, Dutch, okay. Hey, what are you getting out of here? I'm scared to get out of here. Hanging around with you is dangerous. What'd you have to do it for? Because I couldn't. I got no guts. Aren't you forgetting that you're the guy who first pulled that hot nitro stunt in California? That was a long time ago. I'll be seeing you. What's the matter with Paco? What's happened to him? Go on back to bed. I better go after him. Marco! 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 
Jeff. Jeff, you're all right. You're not hurt. I'm fine. When I heard they had taken you to the hospital, I didn't know what I'd do. You shouldn't have come here. I was worried sick. Well, you better start worrying about your husband. I am. Jeff. Go home, Marina. Don't you understand? I can't. I love you, Jeff. You're the only man I ever loved. It seems I've heard those same words before. And from you. Years ago. On another street corner in another country. Only the music was different. I was different, too. I didn't know then. I didn't realize what you meant to me. You said that, too. That time, I believed it. It was true. It's always been true. Even when I married Paco. But you did marry Only him. because you wouldn't have me. There was a time when I would have had you, but you left me waiting till I couldn't believe you any longer. Then you did wait. Too long and through too many others. This time, I've waited for you. Look, this time it's different. You've got Paco. Paco, you think you know him. He looks strong. He fools people. But I've known what he is for a long time. When I knew him, he was strong. And I'm not going to hang around here and watch him fall apart. Let him fall apart. Oh, Jeff, take me away with you. I can't live with him anymore. I can't stand it here another minute. Take me away with you. Now, tonight. Good evening, Miss Conway. Good evening. The key to Miss Conway's suite, please. No, I'm going back to the field. Just have my car sent around. At once. Frank answer. Certainly, Mrs. Conway. Is Jeff Dawson in love with you? I don't mind admitting I'm in love with him. That's not what I asked. I can't answer for him. You could if he loved you. Thanks, you've told me what I want to know. Mrs. Conway, he's not in love with you. Not anymore. He tell you that? Didn't have to. You're a liar. A cheap little liar. What can he see in you? I'll ask him next time. There won't be many more next time. Remember that. Your car is here, Mrs. Conway. visitor, Mr. Jeff Dawson, a real live hero. He catches hot nitro with his bare hands. Jeffy boy, I love you like a brother. Come on, join the party and have a drink. Rosarito, vente, Paco. It's late. You haven't got much time. What are you going to do about the bandito? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? 
I'm not going to tell you. First, I'm going to tell you something else. Listen, everybody. This man, he works for me. But he's the boss. You know why he's the boss? I'll tell you. Paco, let's get out of here. He's a boss because my wife is in love with him. She thought I didn't know. I always knew there was some other guy. But I didn't know who till you come back. She's in love with you. But I married her and I got her. It's a joke. It's a joke. I want everybody to laugh. Laugh! Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to tell you about the bandit. I know what you thought. You thought I was going to pay him. I'm not. I'm going to fight him. You sure that's not whiskey talking? No. It's me. Me, Frank Paco Conway talking. I'm going to fight him. I'm going to fight him. You're not coming, I don't need you. I'll show you, I can do it alone. Let me drive you. Get away, get away, I said. And stay away. I just left Jeff. He's not coming back and there's nothing you can do about him. He's gone. So that leaves just you and me and this here pump. I can't stop you from loving him. And you can't stop me from loving you. This is what started it all. Marina number one. I wanted oil. When it started pumping, you wanted me. Now I wanted to stop pumping. Stop pumping! It's no use, I can't stop it. Because that's the way it's got to be, Marina. Just you and me in the pump, baby. Come here. And I tell you to come here, come here. Marina. It's Paco, over there. I was watching from the veranda. He drove up and started to shoot at the beam. He stumbled and fell, and before I could do anything, he... Oh, 
Jeff, I, I, I think I'm going to be sick. Give each man 50 rounds of ammunition. Those lookouts for banditos. A sad accident. A pity. I am very sorry. I could not bring more men. When he attacks, we have guns to answer him. Please, tell Mrs. Conway to hurry. Get that machine gun mounted. The car's ready to take you to town. We better get started. We may not be safe here soon. You've been very kind. Much kinder than I deserve. This may not be the time for it, Jeff, but now that I'm alone, you know what I want to say. Yes, I do. And don't say it. I have a right to now. So have you. Marina, I'm leaving here just as soon as I can. Leaving here? Why? Oh, I don't believe it. You actually mean it. Oh, no, Jeff. No, don't go. I'm desperate. I need you. Help me. Help me. I'm sorry for you, Marina, but I can't help you. You mean you won't? You don't want to. Why? I mean, this time I'm helping myself. Well, that's not the reason. You know it. What is it, that girl? No, it can't be. You're not in love with her. Now that I hear you say it, I think I am. And well, you can't. I won't let you. You belong with me and you're going to stay with me. You're wrong on both counts. I'm not going to let you walk out on me. I'm holding on to you. We've got everything we ever wanted, everything. Money, this, and each other. And I'm handing it all to you. What more do you want? Something you can never give. It's not your fault. It's just that you never had it to give. But she has, huh? What can she do for you? What? Nothing. But I can trust her. She hasn't any right to you. You're mine, and I'm not going to let you go. I can't, not now, not after what I've done. I... What have you done, Marina? What have you done, Marina? I committed murder to get you. Murder! You uh, killed Buckle? I... I did it for you! Don't you understand? I... I did it for you! You killed Buckle! You killed him! <laughs> Makes me sick to even look at you. You'll never get away from me. I'll never let you go. I'll say you help me. I'll say I killed him and you help me. I don't care if they hang me just to they hang you too.